Hello, this is a tutorial video on how to install the correct driver for Windows 7 and Windows Vista for your Moticam or Motic uh, microscope. Uh, please make sure that your Moticam or microscope can work with Windows 7 or Vista. The easiest way to check is to check on your CD if it says Vista compatible. It will work on Windows Vista or Windows 7. Um, you can also check in the description below, there's a link, there's a chart there, uh, check for your model and see if it's a, the driver for it is compatible with Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Uh, if it is, uh, please follow along. Um, please first go to, on to your front to the internet and type in this address, www.motic.com and then go to Motic Optical. Even if you have the software CD, please follow along. Uh, the latest software will make it much, much easier to install the software and the driver. Uh, click on USA. And then click on support. And then once you get here, click on download section. Please click it, click there. And then here, uh, depending on the model, um, you will need different software. For mine, it's Motic, uh, a Modicam 2300, so I will need Motic Images Plus 2.0 ML latest version. That's the important part. Most models will use this software. Uh, some more uh, lower end models, such as uh, high school used uh, microscopes, they will use, or high school or uh, elementary schools, they will use Motic Educator or Motic Play. So let's click on Motic Images Plus 2.0 here. Uh, if you have not registered yet, please register. If you do have a login already, please put it in. If you have not registered, uh, please type in the DM0 number that's on your CD packaging or the ba bottom or back side of your microscope. Uh, it should be there. If it's not, uh, give us the email. Uh, it's also in the description. And we will be give us the email with the serial number that is on your Modicab or your microscope. And we will we should be able to retrieve your DM serial number for you. Fill in all the other fields, and you should be able to get a login with a username and a password. But since I already have mine, I will not register again. I'll type it in now. Hmm. Uh, right. And it should pop up the download page again. Uh, the one we want is Motic Images Plus 2.0 latest version again. And then once we get to this page, click on the one that has a bracket HK at the end. The China is another mirror, but it's a bit slower, so we'll go with HK. Once you get to here, save the file to your desktop if possible. As you can see now, it's downloading. 2.0 for PC dot zip. The size of the file is 206 megabytes. For your version it may be different but what's important to note is the size so once it's da finished downloading uh, check the size to make sure that you downloaded the whole file. Uh, as you can see it will take an hour so I will cancel this because I already have a version of it on my desktop. Okay. As you can see, it's downloaded onto my desktop, plus 2.0 for PC. Let's check the size of it by right-clicking on the zip file and going to Properties. As you can see, 206 megabytes. So we know for sure now that we got the whole file. What we need to do next is right-click on the zip file again and then click Extract All. Pop up this prompt. Um, if it says uh, extract to the desktop, uh, then everything's great. Just click extract. It will make its own folder over here. For uh, efficiency purposes, now I'll pause the video. Okay, once it's done extracting, the extraction window, the window that we had on Beyond 4 will close down and this window will pop up. Uh, you know for sure that your file is extracted because it pops up over here. 
or on your desktop. You can double click inside and you'll see this file. This number may be different, it depends on your version of the software. Uh, what's important is inside. Just go inside and then click on set up. And click yes. Select your language, most likely it will be English. And click next. And the default location is okay, just click next. Again, I will pause the video for efficiency purposes. Once it's done installing, it will pop up this window saying Seva has finished installing Motic Image Plus 2.0 on your computer. Uh, what you can do is uh, click on finish. It will launch this uh, readme window, which you can read over, but since uh, it has nothing really important to say, we'll skip over it. Now all I need you to do is uh, plug in your Modicam or microscope USB cable to your computer and power up the microscope. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay. Okay, uh, I didn't pop up the installation driver, so I'll plug into an, uh, another USB port. Ah, here we go. As you can see, the name before it installed as a driver is called Motic USB 2.0. And after it's done, it will say Motic USB 2 camera. And it says, ready to use. So let's try it out. Close down this window. Open Motic Images Plus 2.0. It should be on your desktop. Once you uh, open up the main Motic Image Plus 2.0 ML window, you may get a blue background like this or a gray background. It depends on the version you've installed. Uh, what's important is go to File and then Capture for the blue background. And for the gray background uh, interface, go to File and then Capture window. We'll get to the same next window, which is a Motic Images Plus, I mean Motic Live Imaging Module. How you know your camera is connected to your software is under video devices it should say something. For mine it would be Motic 3.0 uh, MP. Uh, it may not be the, the same case for you. As long as it says something here, your camera is connected to your software. And also another thing to note is down at the bottom FPS. Uh, if your FPS or your frames per second is higher than 0, 0.0, that means your camera is connected to your software. Right now, I'm getting a frames per second of 19, which is a fairly smooth video, as you can see. Uh, how to get a very smooth video is first uh, go to auto exposure. Um, Auto exposure lets the computer decide how much exposure to use. Uh, it's the most easiest option, but if you understand what exposure is, uh, you can manually adjust it yourself. For this case, right now it's overexposed, it's too bright. Uh, what I need to do is lower down the exposure. And now everything comes into view again. You can also increase your gain. or decrease your gain to, to get the same effect. In general, to get a good FPS, you want low exposure and low resolution. But it depends. Uh, once you're taking your picture, you want a high resolution to get a clear picture. Uh, if I go up to a high resolution, to 2048 times 1536, you will see my frames per second uh, is halved, effectively. Uh, I do get a picture picture uh, if I unzip it. Uh, I can click Vit to window here. As you can see, it's a very, very big picture if I don't use Vit to window. Uh, it's much bigger than uh, 1070, as you can see, half the size or double the size. 
And those are the major options that you can play around with. Once you're ready to take your picture, uh, you can click on this capture button here or the capture button over here. And once that's captured, it should show up on your main working image plus window, which you can then save to wherever you want. And that's how to get your Motic Microscope or Motic uh, Moditam up and running. If you're still having trouble, uh, please uh, click on the manual driver install the video link in the description and in this video. Thank you.